It's a bit of a mess in here. This is where I throw. This was over here, but we're getting a kiln today, so we just shifted the shelf over so that we could put the kiln there. And my wheel used to be in front of there too, so then I could uh, put some wares on the shelf after I threw them. And there's my reclaim that I really need to reclaim. <laughs> Um, but yeah, nothing super fancy. I basically just throw in here and then do everything else inside. Um, I have like my little mop there. I just mopped this morning because the electrician's coming and, you know, this is what clean. <laughs> this is considered clean when you do pottery because there's always going to be streaks just because every time you're dipping your mop into the water, you're just getting more clay into it. So this is clean enough. I have this little heater because... Uh, today I got into 30 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a little chilly in here. I want the electrician to be a little more comfortable, but uh, you guys saw that panel that was over there. So I think he's just running um, from this panel over here to add another panel. I don't know. I know he's adding like another uh, like 60 to 80 amp panel so that I can put the kiln and hopefully just get a little more electricity overall because all of these plugs in the garage seem to be on the same breaker and when I would have like the light on and this little heater on and the wheel on and that light on everything would just shut off so yeah hopefully in a few hours, I will have a kiln right there. I'm getting the Scut 1027. That's what I see a lot of potters getting as their first kiln. And that's what the studio that I currently fire at happens to have. And I just didn't want to get anything too small and feel limited. So let's see how it goes. Playworks is here. So the electrician failed me, but she or he or non-binary kill is here. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yeah, the electrician just showed up and basically said he didn't have the parts or all the parts to finish the job. So he's coming back tomorrow. So I guess we'll see how it is tomorrow, but I'm so excited. Look at that. And here's all the kiln furniture. There's the plug. Here it is propped up. Uh, I'm so excited, yes. Can't wait to get it running. Well, the electrician came and he brought a buddy and he got the job done. So, the kiln's on and I called the ceramic shop that I got it from and they just told me to run it at a cone 018, just a low firing so that all the oils can burn off the coils and helps extend the life of the coils. So... There it goes. And there's no vent because uh, I was told it didn't need one since it's in the garage and as long as you're not in the space for a long period of time while it's running, then you should be good. Plus I have that door and I can always crack open the garage door. So here it goes, I still need to name it. It's at 150. Can it open? It, it's not that hot. It should feel like holding a Starbucks cup right now. Okay, that's pretty hot. That stuff's not glazed, right? No. Can you put the latch? You gotta go high. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. 
Is it hot? Are you about to drop it? It's kind of hot. It's actually kind of hot if you hold on to it for a long time. Are you joking? God, you're such a baby. Can you stop? Why are you hopping then? If you do this, you can't feel the heat. Okay. And you might drop it too. It's not even that hot. Are you joking? Hi, so this is voiceover Tana because I was way too stressed and in a hurry for this shop update to set up my camera. And I was showing my screen anyways in the last video, so I figured it wouldn't be that different. But here I am entering my secret password that I used to make sure that the shop is ready before the early access time. So I'm just double checking the listings, making sure everything's right. I have three more minutes before my newsletter subscribers get access to the shop with their password. 
just checking the verbiage here. Everything looks good and now it's 545. I've changed the password back to the password that I gave my newsletter subscribers and I'm just making sure that that's working. And right now I have about 20 visitors in the shop, 21. I'm pretty sure this is the most that I've ever had in any of my shop updates. I've never seen this many blue dots on the screen, so I was really excited. And someone's already checking out. <laughs> the $88 is a mug that someone ordered earlier in the day that I didn't make available for this update. But by this point, I was freaking out because there were already seven people checking out active carts and it's only 5:45. <laughs> and the part that's about to come up is crazy the amount of sales that happened within one minute i was about to have a panic attack <laughs> 14 people checking it out Thirty blue dots on the screen. <laughs> uh, it just jumped to eight ninety one over eight hundred dollars in a minute. One thousand fifty four. I was speechless at this point. I'm speechless now watching it because <laughs> this is completely not normal for me, and I didn't expect my holiday design to do so well because the Halloween designs were so popular, but once I posted that broken gingerbread dude on my Instagram, everyone seemed to really love it. And I think what made this mug really special was that you could customize what he says. So like on my example, it says, well, shit, but people could make it say, oh, snap, or fuck, or not again, or my leg, or whatever they wanted. It's at 1655 already. It's been three minutes since I opened the shop. 1737. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure by this point, I already sold out of the broken gingerbread mug. And I just forgot to refresh the screen so that you could see it because I was getting so many DMs. Oh, there you go. Now it's 604. So you can see there was only $100 in sales in the 15 minutes because after three minutes i was already sold of the sold out of the gingerbread mug and i was getting a bunch of dms people were really sad so at that point i decided that i was already going to do another pre-order after these were done so the last few orders that were trickling in were just some snowy tree mugs or for people who really just wanted to come back to get some spooky halloween designs but yeah i was I was really grateful for how this update turned out. I've never really had the Instagram algorithm on my side and throughout the whole spooky season and holiday season, um, all of my stuff just did really well on Instagram and I gained several thousand followers and a lot of people were interested in my pottery and this doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> this was, I'm pretty sure, my best update and um, I do do one more pre-order for the holiday mugs after this update um, and that was pretty much my last really big update until February when I did the Valentine's Day design that you'll see in an upcoming video. The next video will be a packing video of the second holiday mug pre-order because uh, <laughs> this pre-order for the update that you're watching right now was so close to the Christmas deadline that I did not have time to do anything. Four week turnaround for around 30 pots is is a very tight deadline. <laughs> I'll see you while I'm packing orders in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.